welcome 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 everybody uh welcome to be your talk uh what is it 198 <laughs> <laughs> losing count already uh yeah uh and uh <clears throat> it's it's one of these things or uh wait what, what's twitch doing what the hell everything is weird now <laughs> Crap. Uh, I think we should be good. Uh, or are we good? Uh, yeah. yeah, dude, everything is just fucking panicking for no reason here. <laughs> uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to Mio Talk 198. Let's start the over. Uh, if you have a, 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 any questions in our topic, Super Chats, as per usual, are always open. If you want to become super cool and become a channel member, there's a join button right next to the uh, subscribe button. Uh, Chat is per usual. Uh, you have to be subscribed for a minute and you can join in and that keeps uh, most of the trolls away. So in case you're new here, uh, that's what's uh, going on. And uh, uh, Or you're planning on trolling, that's how you get in. The biggest trolls are the ones <laughs> who are standing out in my house. These guys. <laughs> and uh, uh, also, uh, oop, uh, you're enormous and I have to get Willy in. But if you uh, want to... Uh, Buy anything skinny play uh, related. Uh, uh, come and join uh, uh, or buy uh, something. Uh, two products get you ten percent off. Use the the, the link and uh, uh, we get a small kickback and it goes straight back to the channel. And uh, well, who knows? You can't see what's going on below here. <laughs> <laughs> well it, it, i i try to keep true to like never ever uh really uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh practicing anything for this shit uh we never uh, agree on topics beforehand uh we never really uh <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> so uh there's there's that and uh yeah and uh also the, the uh, portal yeah uh, i'm using the new portals the mic is still my regular mic though uh just uh to i don't know uh somehow your mic sounds better than this portal mic and i don't know why but Mine does? Yes, and I think it's partially because what Skype yeah. does to the audio signal, partially, and uh, there may actually be a software difference because uh, the Xbox version have gotten quite a few updates, whereas these are still on uh, the starting software. Okay. So we'll see where that goes. Uh, Eric, how have you been? Uh, very busy in like the whole week. I have been, we, the whole family have been at the, my father in law's place in Stockholm because we have to move out because the house company uh, had to redo major parts of the living room, the floor there. So, uh, yeah, all, basically, the, the, all the furniture and all that have to be moved and all that. So, yeah, been in Stockholm. Nice. Goddamn snow coming back again. Well, that's big no no. But, Jolly. Uh, yeah. Oh, dude, no. speaking <laughs> of snow, I went yesterday over my friend's house for a cigar. I got in. Roads are dry, perfect, whatever, right? Nothing's happening. He finished the sticks like maybe two and a half hours later. Opens the garage, dude. There's fucking five centimeters on my car. So, like blowing sideways. It yeah. snowed so much over I was going home, it was like complete whiteout. Like you couldn't see a car 15 meters in front of you. It's kind of what happens here at night. So one day so, yeah, it was not fun. Uh, plus outside and the next day when we was going to uh, go home and it's just 10 centimeters, 15 centimeters. And tonight it's going to be 25. So yeah. Damn. In case, by the way, anybody hears weird noises in the background, it's still storming here. Uh, I constantly think my cats are up to no good, but yeah, you're somebody... kind of in the middle of it, right? Yeah, we we had like eighty to a hundred uh, kilometer an hour wind uh, gusts of wind, and apparently yeah. the the offices uh, right down there, uh, a bunch of people left their uh, like their sunshade blocker things out, 
So they ripped off the building and now hanging on and they're smacking into yeah. the building the whole time. Oh my god. <laughs> so it's uh, one of those things where I constantly go, oh no, it's over there. The whole kind oh of no, it's over there. <laughs> no, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes, that's for sure. Yeah. Don't have to be don't have to be stormy here because the whole kind of where we live is actually called like tornado valley or tornado town or whatever called these kind of parts. The food uh, yeah, it's called uh, so yeah, it's kind of basically normalized to be a storm. We threw out our Christmas tree and whoop it just threw out the, the football field. So yeah, that's kind of normal here. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cold. Yeah. I hope when I have to move these 90s that it's not going to be fucking snow and shit everywhere. But uh, with I our luck, it probably will be. And I have to see one yeah, thing, I, actually. I got the logistical problem of having to do it through the I can't do it over the weekend now. Why? Because I need a building manager to unlock the fucking front door, foyer door, because the boxes are too wide. They won't fit through. They fit through the doors, like through my house. Mm hmm through the apartment, but they don't fit through the fucking man door downstairs because they're double doors, right? And the second half just... is locked. Oh, the second right. half is locked with a key. All right. Fudge. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> don't you have a landlord or something that they can contact or something? To open yeah, it? landlord. Yeah, she, she doesn't have a key for that. It's gonna be. It's gonna. That move is gonna be interesting, dude. Two things that are gonna be heavy as shit, which is the box of lab ones that I packed up, and uh, those two behind me, the fridges. So your back is properly ruined still. Oh, dude. <laughs> I went to get needled and stuff, but so it let go a little bit, but it's still not finished, and I couldn't. I just couldn't take it anymore. Like I couldn't. Like the needling was so good, but it hurt so much, and. <laughs> Literally, like it swallow up everything, and he's like, "I can't, I cannot needle you anymore. Because now it'll just do damage instead of good." So I'm like, "All right, fuck, I'll come back in a week." So tomorrow is a long weekend in Canada, I guess, or Alberta at least. It's a long weekend, so not nothing's happened, nothing's opened. So I'm gonna get poked on Tuesday again, all over. In that case, uh, you should uh, level up. <laughs> So I've been testing uh, because uh, these are the PC versions or the PC PlayStation versions, and they work fantastically with that dongle. Uh, but I, for the life of me, can't get the Xbox version uh, connected to the dongle. Yeah, so I think it's actually a, a, a similar tech, but a different software protocol. So it's uh it's kind of annoying. Uh, also, uh, if you look carefully, uh, uh, where on the Xbox version on the left ear cup, uh, the Xbox connection for the dongle thing is on the left ear cup. For these PC versions, uh, uh, the Bluetooth is on the left, and if you press the power button again, uh, that connects to the dongle. So the operation is uh switched, so the buttons are different. So it's uh Oh bloody hell uh, uh okay, god damn it sorry uh I'm uh, somehow this uh is muted. Uh could you say something again? I just need to check. God damn it. Check it. What are uh, you doing? We're there again. Uh, we should be okay because when I uh, changed scenes, somehow the sound uh, capture changed again. <laughs> so as soon as, as soon as that's uh, fixed. Uh, so, anyways, yeah. So you can't pair. So I wonder if I can order like one from Amazon and pair my uh, portals to it. So Does that work? You think? No. Uh, apparently, my voice was heard. So. Uh, you could get uh, the USB dongle for Xbox, and that should work with Windows 10 or 11. 
So the Xbox version will work with the transmitter uh, to the Xbox uh, one. Uh, but then there is uh, little changes uh, between uh, the, the, the headphones uh, in the sense that uh, the portal PC PlayStation version will do, uh, will do dual audio at the same time. Uh, meaning, so Xbox uh, I can... One wireless adapter for Windows. If I buy that for thirty bucks, yes, then it uh... shit. It's gonna come by tomorrow. Okay, bye now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shit. Let's go. Let's go, Brandon. Fucking nice. Thirty-one dollars place in my order. Yeah, bro. I want to figure this out. I want to. I want to try to. Cause that USB diddly nonsense sucks. Estimated delivery February twenty first. Sweet. Maybe I'll get it before the fucking Twitch happens. That'll be nice. Uh, but uh, so uh, like I was saying, the Xbox version uh will connect to either the Xbox standard or to Bluetooth. And in the mm. app, you can see that switch between the light side and the dark side, the dark side being Xbox. Uh, the, the PC PlayStation version will do uh, both the dongle connection and the Bluetooth connection to something else at the same time for some reason, which is actually kind of nice because when I was editing the video uh, that I made last Thursday, uh, I could listen to a podcast from my phone and whenever I needed to edit, you just press play and it plays at the same time. And the individual sources have individual volume control. Yeah, I don't know how that works, but it works for me the same way with the phone and the, the computer when I'm connected with Bluetooth. Sometimes it screws up, then it screws up the, the Bluetooth. And it starts to get a little like robotic. But uh, it does. That's why I always switch off the Bluetooth on the, on the phone when I, when I go to the podcast. I don't want it to get all screwed up and whatnot. Uh, so DJ Neo asks, does the Xbox version not have Bluetooth? Yes, it does, but it doesn't do it at the same time. Mm. It can sort of jump between products, but it doesn't play two sources at the same time. Uh, can I show you the dongle? Uh, Careful now. <laughs> yes, but I won't be here able to hear anybody. Uh, we'll see how this oh, goes yeah, live on the ply. In. Because uh, technically, it's supposed... Oh, shit, but then nobody can hear you guys. Uh... Just show them the picture, because he took pictures from the you know, WhatsApp. Yeah, that's good. Per se. It's very small, man. It's a little USB-C adapter thing. Uh, yeah. Do I, is there a picture on the... No. There's no picture on here, is there? No, they're not going to show you. The they're device, not going to brag though. about having a dongle. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, oh. exactly. No uh, man brags about his dongle. <laughs> Especially when it's not that big of a size. No. That's right. If but, that's, uh, if that's small. So uh, it's a good thing. You know what? I, I'm not going to pull it out, ladies. <laughs> but she said. <laughs> uh, uh, because uh, that'll out. mess everything up again. Uh, it's. What's what would this comparable size a regular USB drive? Uh, but if you have a USB port left over, it's about half the size of a USB drive. Yeah, because the the adapters is basically it half doesn't the product. interfere with much. Yeah, so. and the dongle is plugged into the PC or PlayStation. Herr Vagabund asks. That's up to you. So the headphones connect to uh, the dongle and or to something Bluetooth. Uh, the and or is up to you again. That's another uh, option in the menu. So uh, in this case, uh, my headphones are connected to the dongle because somehow the Bluetooth on my motherboard is utter crap. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Uh, so uh, if you take the dongle out of your PC and plug it into your Xbox, the headphones will be connected to the dongle and the PlayStation should sense that there's an audio device in the USB port and just send it out over, over the over the dongle. Hmm. 
uh, would the connection work with a dongle connected to an Android phone? The dongle doesn't need to be question. connected to the phone. Uh, so that's a thing. So the, they can, you can have two connections, right? Like the dongle connection and a Bluetooth connection. Uh, so the dongle can but be... But I guess he's asking that if you have the, the dongle connected to, let's say, a USB-C port on the Android device, would you still get the all the same Atmos experience? Is that, if I'm understanding the question correctly, right? Because Bluetooth can't do that. There's not enough bandwidth to go full tilt because otherwise you would need the dongle right potentially yes so i i don't have an android phone here to test that with sucks bro <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have a converter dongle to convert your stupid lightning firing pin to a no. usbc <laughs> that everybody else can use <laughs> no uh, have Sad, right, us. Yes, right. but the dongle will not be plugged into the headphones, right? No, the dongle is never plugged into the headphone. It's just the device you want uh, the the audio out of. So uh, uh, the dongle works. Uh, Dancer says the dongle works on Mac and iPad. Have the PC portal since Saturday, and they sound better with the dongle. Fantastic. I would agree that they probably would because there's way more bandwidth for sound or for for data to go through. Uh, so. As soon as you connect to the dongle, I can. Uh, I took the screenshots. Uh, let me see. Let's get this up. As soon as you have a dongle connection, ladies, <laughs> uh, you dongle plug. You also get uh, the Atmos style uh, EQ. Interesting. Uh, uh, and if you're on Bluetooth uh, connection, uh, you get uh, the the regular type of uh, BNO uh, equalizer. Free, yeah. yeah, and they sound That's quite different. Yeah. Mm. So it's 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 a bit of a, a duality uh, because um, this this the strange thing I found is that if you if these are connected to the dongle on my PC, but nothing is playing from my PC, but I start, let's say, watching a YouTube video on my phone, that'll play straight through. Uh, but as soon as you lose dongle connection to whatever is in the PC or elsewhere, it'll switch to the BNO EQ. So it'll blip out and come on again. And then it sounds like the BNO EQ is on again. So you get the mm. Atmos sort of experience as soon as, as long as you have dongle connection. Which is kind of strange, even though the source yeah. in that point is not from the dongle. Bluetooth. Yeah, not Bluetooth. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, dongle talk. No. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, that's interesting. Uh, it's, it's interesting how they work. It's also kind of... Uh, it's, it's not a, 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 a big deal or anything, but um, these headphones have A and C which is actually kind of nice. And if you set it to a certain setting, uh, whichever is your preferred uh, type of A and C, if you lose, uh, let's say, a uh, connection to the dongle, it'll go to the Bluetooth setting, but it won't take the A and C you just adjusted from the dongle setting to the Bluetooth. It'll just switch over to the B&O EQ, and it'll default to whatever the last used A and C setting was on the Bluetooth setting only. Mm. So if they if you don't like equalize them uh, before you start switching a lot and or lose connection to one of uh, either, uh, you get this uh, difference in A, A and C uh, on the fly. The same for uh, presets. So it's uh, it's it's so it's suddenly it's, you hear all the time <clears throat> screaming at you. Yeah. So it, it's it's a bit of a quirky way. Uh, to to do everything. It's very much two systems kind of arguing with each other who, who's going to do what. But as long as there's no interference in like, usability, so... Yeah, and... connect on girl. <laughs> yeah. but, but that's kind of the strange thing. So if I start uh, playing something through my phone, I don't... You guys shouldn't hear it, but I'll hear you and what's playing through my phone at the same time. 
which mm. is something uh, I, I do like because, uh, like you have here in one of the uh, lower settings, if you're playing a game, uh, uh, you can either tell it not to come through the, the headphones or you can mute the sound of the game as soon as you get a call in, it, whichever is more important to you. Mm. So uh, if you're on the boss's time, this is an excellent setting to have. <laughs> That's a good slider. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, I like the portals, man. I got to say, I've been listening to them even, you know, music-wise. They sound great. And yeah, they're comfortable. Obviously, I wear them for what? Three hours, more or less, in a row. You know, I'm not a gamer, but I might be gaming soon because there's not much that I'll be doing. <laughs> yeah. if I move out of this apartment so the dongle's gonna come in and uh, <laughs> play my crisis so uh, Christian has a point uh, seems a little messy with two versions so when these launched on Thursday uh, there was a headphone sale going on for I think 20% off through the b &O website and uh, the new portal PC edition PlayStation version uh, were part of that. Uh, if you uh, went to uh, BNO's website, and uh, let me, if you went to the main site, okay, like this, you could go to shop now. If you pressed shop now, you got this image, and you could press buy now. And uh, if you look at the text here, Xbox, PlayStation, PC, mobile, it's all fair game. You think they're all the same, right? Yeah. However, if you went to headphones <laughs> and then went to the portal, then you got this version of the website and you could actually choose. And this is where you got the highly important sub tab of which version you wanted. Hmm. So if you ordered these from the main site and you went from the banner ad to the shop now, let B and O know because you may be getting the Xbox version because they fucked up the website. I told <laughs> them it's fixed now, but interesting. It. It's yeah. It's it. It was one of these. It can be messy with two products doing the same thing almost. Yeah. Yeah. Even that difference. So it's 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 a bit of like oh not again. <laughs> like why? But uh, yeah, uh, it's yeah, fixed again, now. Small company. Yeah. But a lot of people were very eager to get one, obviously, since it was twenty five percent off. Yeah. I have to send it back. Uh, leave you ask, have they made too big of a sacrifice in quality for music listeners by adapting them mainly for gaming? I don't think so. I think, they sound, I think, so I think they sound really, really good. They're not H95s good, but then again, they're nearly the half price the price. Either. Yeah. Yeah, for for me, I'm actually selling my H ninety fives because they're. I mean, the, the portals are more comfortable, do more, and I mean, for that sound quality, really, you, no, it's not that notable. I think portals are the most versatile headphone BNO's ever made. Yeah. Period. I mean, you the H nine is got a, why bother? It's got a decent microphone. Six Oracle. They're comfortable. The Atmos is it's, it's, it's insane when you actually play games. It's insane how good it is. Yeah, uh, DJ Neo asks, can I put the dongle of a PS5 PC version into an Xbox and get Atmos? I don't have an Xbox, so it's not something I can test. I asked somebody on Reddit because they have uh, had a similar question but had an Xbox. And uh, apparently... Uh, it should work for audio, but if it's not Xbox branded for some reason, the Xbox 
don't or doesn't really like doing the mic input. Mm. So it's uh, one of these, like, you'll most likely get audio, but it'll work as headphones, not as a headset. Probably. But I have no way of testing that. That would be a Henrik question, because he's got an Xbox. Yeah, but he has the Xbox version. Mm. I don't think it would matter, like, if it's it's a if your shit is fair to the dongle, anyways. Yeah, then but it doesn't then, matter what it's plugged into, isn't it? Yeah, but the Xbox still has to treat that as a headphone out instead of a head. Uh, sorry, as a headset, headset out, out instead of headphones yeah. out. Yeah, but what is that? Isn't it more or less a problem of a setting of some sorts or a driver issue? That could be driver issue, but it could also be uh, on purpose to to basically say fair. buy the Xbox dongle if you want the dongle. Yeah. We want to suck another thirty dollars out of you. You did well, Microsoft, because you. It, just, it is Microsoft, it, after all. <laughs> I had uh, you just sucked it out of me twenty minutes ago. Here, they bought one. <laughs> it's on the way. I already got an email confirmation, people. <laughs> <laughs> so a small price. I'm looking anyway, forward so. to that because that's going to be wicked. That I don't have to undo my Bluetooth on the phone because this will just be paired to the. Maybe my microphone will get better too. You know what I mean? It's like chipping a car. I got another 70 horses in it. (laughs) Yeah. Still sounds good in any way. Yeah, so I really like this. To me, for my use case, since I'm more so a PC gamer, it made uh, everything about the portals better. Because uh, I I liked using them with my phone, the Xbox version. uh, And they were very good at that. It's just that if you wanted to use them with PC, the best option for me, for some reason, because my Bluetooth is crap, uh, was wired. But then you have that nice cable just every time you do that. Chafin, yeah. I don't like that. And now I can, like, literally... Yeah. Fling around. (laughs) Especially (laughs) once you get killed around a corner and you go... Blaming all the bots. Doesn't it six? <laughs> it's always bots. Everything it's is bots. Always bots. Everything it's never your fault. It's always the <laughs> Russians. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they're funding the protests here. The riots. Yeah, of course. Honk. Blame the Russians. <laughs> <laughs> My dad was on the Skype with him before we got on the podcast. I was telling him because they're showing Calgary had a huge protest yesterday. Yeah. And fuck, there must have been at least 20,000 people. And in Slovakia, they reported as 400. I don't even know what street must have they have filmed it for the news, right? Where you July. live. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> when a, everybody went to work in the morning. <laughs> probably just, just filmed uh, in front of the Shikimenia, which is the little uh, the Japanese uh, uh, restaurant. There's always a lineup, so maybe that was where they took the footage of the <laughs> protesters. Uh, yeah, close enough. I, I take it uh, your answer is also uh, 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 not uh, heard yet, but uh, neither of us three or no have heard the Bino Cisco 980 portal thing, right? I've heard of, I've seen the pictures of those. They're silver, like the whole headphone is silver, basically silver and gray. Mm-hmm. But I... I don't know. I think the only difference is that they're tuned or, or tuned. The, the, the chipsets or whatever the hell is in them maybe is specifically designed for the headphones or ha- handsets that they have to deal with. Which I think, because I don't know how this phone shit works. Like when uh, my buddy's wife worked at the WestJet, like she was doing it all from home, right? Mm-hmm. But they they basically, you know, you get provided internet. And then uh, they gave her that box that the calls would come through, but it's all VoIP anyways, right? So yeah. maybe it connects into that. Look how happy she looks finally. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is just, it's just a gray portal. Yeah. I don't think maybe there is some special sauce in them just specifically for that as a contract, but uh, I don't honestly know if there's anything different other than the branding, you know, that they just made a bunch. It's probably just make software, a system really. Or that could be. 
I mean, just like these run on uh, different software because I checked software versions of these uh, PC PlayStation versions uh, against the Xbox version, and these are on 1.0.2 whatever, and the uh, Xbox versions are on 2.0.1 point something. Yeah, already. Yeah. Hmm. So uh, there's. And uh, the reason I checked partially because I was thinking like m- m- I don't remember what the Xbox version was at launch in terms of software. Like uh, I I don't remember what number that was, and maybe pre-launch they just don't want to update it yet. Uh, but so far these are still on one point something. But and- can that difference be that when they actually did the, all these kind of updates on the portals? When they finally release the the portals for PC and PS5, it the first generation or the, the one point blah 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 is kind of the same as the two point. You expect to get. Released. Could be, but it could also be that it's just in a in a, a similar product stack but slightly different, and therefore the software counting starts from yeah the front again. So, so maybe the, the the kind of the same one point blah 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 is maybe or not as as the same as two point on the Xbox version, but might be. I don't know. A generic enthusiast over on Twitch says the Cisco version will cost too much for the hardware and rely on a monthly cloud service fee for function. <laughs> 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 That's so true. Cisco does that with everything. Here you can yeah. buy this. You still have to rent access to it, but it's yours. Sort of. <laughs> it may not we work in a month, much. but who cares? Yeah, I don't know what... Uh, yeah, I honestly, I, I couldn't comment what would be the difference. When does the Baluti portals come out? The which? The Baluti. The blue ones? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just joking on the Baluti brand. Baluti uh, portals. By the way, uh, any chance you might be able to have time to try the new portal with Zoom teams and report how they performed? Well, Willie is using the Xbox version now over Bluetooth with Skype. Yeah. And the mic you're and hearing from him. for a few podcasts have been, now. Yeah. Five or six so, almost, yeah. I mean, Microsoft yeah, Teams and Skype get... sounds the same. Yeah, I don't got no fancy mics and shit. This is, this is all is here in this, uh, in this headphone. Yeah. So, DJ Neo, can he change his emoji behind his name? <laughs> Not yet. <I> know. <laughs> It'll change into a different emoji after a month of membership. <laughs> <laughs> oh. By the way, uh, in case you didn't know, because it's too small, that's uh, John from Manchester eating a burger. And Which one was it? Was it a Wendy's burger? I, I don't. Was, I think it? it was a Burger we King. Or, uh, but or Burger King. He had the space where uh, uh, somebody uh, <laughs> pushed him into being vegan for like a month or two. And this was the first burger he had back <laughs> as a normal human <laughs> being. <laughs> and it was so good. That's funny. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the burgers are so good. I'm actually thinking today I'm going to go with my buddy uh, for to a pub and get some get a real burger. Yeah, now that they, way, they've lifted all these bullshit nonsense passes now. Alberta's completely done with it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a Burger King. That's a Burger King. You can tell by the bun. So that's the emoji. Yeah. <laughs> that's behind you. Right? <laughs> it's like a shark with an eyes rolled in the back of the head. All <laughs> just eating it. That's it. Burger's uh, so good. Uh, uh, John's dad, burger. if you're watching, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he Great provided all, all kinds of ammunition. Yeah. A few times, that's funny. Uh, I, I don't know exactly when it happens. I have to check that. But if you're a member for longer, you will also get this behind your name. Uh, and this has been shared far and wide uh, before. But just FYI, eventually you'll get this. <laughs> I just think it's fabulous. <laughs> That's the dad of the year photo right there, yeah. Yeah, I think he should uh, ask his girls to do his makeup again and then he could make a video like this. 
Yeah. <laughs> better one. Maybe they got them better. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Skinny Place says uh, we miss John uh, on Instagram. Yeah, so do I, but it's no fun when you have to ask permission for bloody everything. Yeah, because that, that's the draconian rule that they came up with, right? Yeah, because even if you do a build for a customer, uh, you have to take the picture. You have to send it to somebody over at B&O, and they're going to... Uh, uh, approve or disapprove of the build you did and it it can be not allowed for certain things like there's too much apple product in the picture or yeah. uh like nonsense that doesn't matter generally it would probably get approved but the amount of uh pictures they put out it's like we're not going to wait weeks to get an answer to just post a bloody picture so we're just going to say screw it and not do it at all but was that just the uk or did it affect all kind of dealers every dealer worldwide every dealer. okay because they were trying to stop the leaks and then yeah they blame most of the leaks on the dealers when half the leaks came from them <laughs> <laughs> it's typical it's, yeah, like... it's all photos that we sent out uh, leaked ourselves. Uh, yeah, we have five products that in the background will come out in like two years. But yeah, don't pay attention to that. Just yeah, yeah. It's I don't know, but you know, I love you, but sometimes you're a bit dumb. Yeah. Again, small company, easy to make mistakes. I guess I don't know. Yeah, but Not somehow it's, it's never there. Somehow. No, that's another story because that I don't really understand. Yeah. Uh, Why are the portals in sale, anyways? I don't understand that. They're not anymore, but they had a general headphone. Uh, uh, They're still on, on my website. They're oh, they are. Eleven dollars. Yeah, four hundred eleven dollars instead of five forty nine. Uh, Black anthracite, gray mist. And the navy. Oh, you want the navy one because they got the goofiest gold on them, right? I want them. <laughs> uh, do we expect another new color in this? Eventually, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I, I so. don't know if it's imminent, but uh, usually something brownish comes along. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised they haven't done it in natural leather. As yeah, because that's the only, not only one, but that's. I think they've done every headphone in natural leather. I, I well, I don't think the H ninety fives were. The H ninety fives came in Baluti, and that one was very good. That kind of brown, you know, Cuban or Cohiba kind, of, kind of color of leather. Oh Same yeah, no, they the, still have it. Yeah. I remember the A H eight that was in hazelnut. That was one of my favorite colors. It's amazing. I think it also was kind of gold on the side, right? The hazelnut and gold. It's a very good combination. I mean, uh, if we look at the H X, uh, I I would hope that eventually with the portals they come with a color setting like uh, the timber. Yeah, that, that looks great to me. Yeah. Mm. Shit, I think I'm gonna have to restart my uh, flipping uh, Skype because my like both of you guys sound robotic and I can't figure out why. And it's not the it's not the headphones. So I'll be back in a second here. That's all right. No worries. Just pull a weird face before you leave. Ah, damn it! Too late. <laughs> <coughs> pull out too quickly. No, just oh, because man. the 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 way we uh, <laughs> record the show, uh, his face will be there until he's back. <laughs> uh, will is thinking hard now. According to general uh, generic enthusiast, uh, the sale price was actually better at the regular Amazon price. So if you're North America, probably the sale is still going on for headphones. Uh, I would highly uh, uh, recommend the the be a play portals of any denomination that uh, personally if you're a pc gamer uh, or 
PlayStation game. PC user, all, yeah. You don't have to mm. be a gamer. Just use the P- use them for your PC or yeah. I mean, uh, you can see by the the straw poll I started. When was this? Earlier today, or was it last night? But uh, it's about an 80-20 split that uh, would prefer the PC or PlayStation version. Yeah. Which is kind of amazing to me. I think most of that is also because of just the PC. It's not just a Xbox versus uh, PS. It's actually PC also, which is kind of weird because I thought that PC and Xbox would be more one and PS5 would, would be one, but yeah. So for I, me, it's just uh, PS5 and PS and PC here. So it would be perfectly for me. I, I think that's what Microsoft has been trying to do to integrate everything. Yeah. But uh, as with most things, Microsoft, like look what they did with Skype. Skype was doing well and Microsoft bought Skype and then it all was sort of like, yeah, afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it didn't get better. No, they had a what a fourteen year lead to Zoom, and now Zoom is bigger than Skype and or Teams. It's like yeah. right, right. Mm. <laughs> like that's bad. Most things Microsoft buys is not great in the long run. Nope. Yeah, but like Zoom blistered. took off over like during the pandemic, right? Yeah, but Skype was but already bought, there. Uh... Like Skype yeah, was tested, right? Sorry, didn't the Microsoft b- uh, buy uh, Blizzard? Oh yeah, like recently. Blizzard, yeah, yeah. So, so see, uh, expect all those games to be like very. Uh... <laughs> oh well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Pepsi Blue freaking eight sixes. I remember those. You know what? I think the oh, worst, yeah. the worst headphone collab that they've ever done, in my opinion, was uh, was it 2014 or 12 soccer FIFA something, where they had this artist to do the insides of the. They were like this shitty teal, not like light blue color. I forget. Yeah, I remember the form two eyes had the. Uh... Very yes. weird. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly at the Pepsi challenge. Yeah. Those are terrible. Uh, I, no, no, I kind of like them. Last known price, 48 euro. <laughs> that's how unwanted these are. <laughs> yeah, dude. Those are awful. Take them. Take them away. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I must say, one thing they did get right is the angle of the cable for connecting it to anything. Yes. Because the, the USB-C cable on these is a bit weirdly straight down to your shoulder. It's right in here, yeah. This one is, and this one is angled too. It, like it's angled a, As much as that, or? Yeah, if I would say more. Bloody hell, that was loud. I also adjusted the volume. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh... That's such a terrible color man combo that they've done. And it's a kind of good angle on the H95 also, so yeah. 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 I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, some you know headphones are amazing, uh, and some not so much. <laughs> Cohiba edition. I'd go for a Davidoff edition. I think it would look more elegant. I think anything Cohiba now is just too tacky. Cohiba is like the bows of the sound. name yeah yeah it's so like even the i i look and that's like chop on cohiba now i don't even smoke them anyways but uh, i just I, like st dupont made this you know, it's a 2800 dollars fucking cohiba lighter right who cares it's actually more the 2800 dollars just a regular lighter the uh, lighter legrand but that one was i think it, it went for a thousand dollars more because he had that stupid checker box on it and I just, I, I don't, you know, like, and then the cutter and I mean, like, it's all just like, it's all too, too Dubai blingy for me. You know what I mean? I just, I just don't care for it where there's way more elegance in, uh, in, uh, in, in Davidoff's, even how they present themselves too. So sorry, that's my rant on 
Yeah, I remember the DJ Khaled. Hmm. No, I don't remember those. God damn. Cohiba's the bozo cigar. It is, man. Uh, just my opinion, I guess. But um, by the way, uh, chat if you're there, uh, and any questions go uh, as you can well tell. Uh, if there's anything you want to know about the headphones or anything else for that matter, feel free to ask. Uh, I can't mind read, so yeah, but he can read for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Only a little bit, enough to uh, yeah. get what you're on about. <laughs> read in English. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. If you agree with me on the Kohiba, then hit that like button. We need to get some more in there. <laughs> if you like it yeah. in general, uh, hit the like button. It's, it's all As very... well. Yeah. <laughs> but... But uh, sure yeah, guys, I think uh, they should do something with the, uh, I don't know. I'm waiting for whatever that new supposed sound center or whatever they're coming up with. That's going to be interesting. You have to see. <laughs> yeah, but realistically, when, okay, like, let's say, fictitiously, the release date would be like, what, August, September, maybe in their new, in the new year, like in their new fiscal year when they would launch it. Given the, given the, uh, chipset board and blah 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 availability do you think that that product will ever see even a showroom before the year runs away before the 2022 turns you know let see emerges are apparently back except the uh, it's funny i was talking to the buddy in uh in the in the quebec store in the montreal store and he's like dude this thing is awesome and he just loves it he's absolutely loving it right so it's he's an like invisible Steve. speaker. <laughs> yeah, he's absolutely loving it. And I'm like, which one do you have? It's like the black one. I'm like, I'm like, dude, you know what? I I I can't agree or disagree because I have not had a chance to to hear this product yet. But the black one looks like a fucking router, man. And he like he just went silent, right? And like because you know yeah. that he's looking at it and he's like, oh, you're kind of right. Like <laughs> it's like, dude, it does look like a router, man. If you like the decent. look of a router, for me. You, you kind of have to go with uh, the gold and uh, the wood uh, size on it. There's because your dongle, people. people. Looks... Quickly, look, look, pause it before he gets demonetized. There you go. What? This is just my own video. I can't I demonetize myself. <laughs> <laughs> so it took you a long a bit there. That's funny. So the, the, the actual dongle bit is uh, is is this small thing uh here in my hand uh and, and it's it's really kind of tiny but you get a usb c to usb it's usb b or is it usb a the 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 i always forget like this is the conversion bit for if you don't have a usb c port so this part of USB-A. the yeah because yeah. the usb b i think is the printer port isn't it oh yeah 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 so this this part of the dongle is actually just a conversion bit and it doesn't actually do anything in and of itself uh other than convert it from usb a to usb c uh, uh but the usb c bit is the actual transmission bit and there's a bno logo on one side and a light and some or is it uh standard text on on the other side Yeah, so if you got a USB C, like it's just you're literally having what maybe two centimeters sticking out of the back of the computer. Uh, like it's half, it's half the size of a USB, uh, like a old fashioned USB. Uh, yeah. Dongle. Storage oh. dongle, whatever you want to call it. So uh, let me set my microphone uh, to the commercial for the people in. Also, there's no filters uh, really on this, uh, but if I if you want to, to see me muted, I'll keep on talking. I double tap and I hear uh, I'm you, Eric and Willie will still hear me probably, but uh, yeah. the, uh, or will no uh, wait. I I think it's still picking me up. Hold on, did I set the right one? I don't know. What are you trying to set? Are you trying to go to the? Uh... 
the portals microphone uh yeah and see if i can mute it uh command phone great command phone uh Am I muted? The new if I, come with the automatic I'm... stop play function when you take them off. I don't know. So uh, I'm back again. <laughs> no, they, uh, the view, yeah, the portals do out of like, at least mine, the, the Xbox version variant, I guess you can call them. Uh, as soon as I turn them off, it pauses like if it's a YouTube playing on my phone, it'll pause that. It'll pause the uh, music when it's playing. So yeah, they do. And I like them. I like oh. them a lot, man. I think the portals are are a game changer. No pun intended. That's why I was playing around and it still said uh, the old way. Uh, uh, I moved and mute and unmute to the other. <laughs> <Your cup. laughs> Sorry. So if I'm talking like this and I double, <laughs> and then I'm back again. So uh, yeah. Why is that? So you can mute yourself from the stream only. Yeah, or if you have to take a leak or something. No, like okay, so you mute yourself from the stream, but you're not muting yourself from us. How is that? Because uh, Skype is using oh. this mic still, oh, but I can set right. a different input on the streaming software. Word. <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. This is a very naked microphone to the YouTube. And uh, this is back to my uh, bigger one. And I should be back on that one now. Yeah, we're on. Yeah, it doesn't change for you, but it changes for everybody no. watching. Oh, hope so. <laughs> I was wondering what the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> Mike, you lost his mind. But uh, yeah, the the dongle is actually very pleasant to use, and uh, I tried it on a uh, on a different PC, and uh, it's just plug and play. It's really that easy. It's it's nice. Uh, I I prefer it much over the Xbox version, most definitely because I don't have an Xbox. Like if I played my video games on an Xbox, I would want the Xbox version just because of the ease of use and whatnot. Well, it makes sense. Yeah. Right. But uh, I'm now stuck in uh, in between a rock and a hard place since uh, these are on loan, <laughs> and my Xbox version uh, is mine. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like your Xbox one. Yeah, but then I'll get looks from the lady of the house. It's like get that. Why? Because she's like, the Xbox are fine. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't even know they're the same color, dog. She's yeah. been using them. She's using the <laughs> Xbox version right now. Well, sounds like you're gonna have to slap your fucking wallet one more time. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what it seems like. Yeah. That's the that's the factual truth. So it's it's so one daddy's of daddy's buying another set. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's my pre birthday gift from the cats. I mean, it doesn't matter that it's like in over six months from now. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what Jonathan's asking. They don't have sensors inside the, to when they are off their head versus off. I honestly like. I usually, when I take them off, I grab them by the power button. So when I'm taking them off, I I just shut them down. <laughs> Sixty-five inch OLED, Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's terrible. I need to go sit back a little. <laughs> uh, by the way, a uh, question from Tigris: uh, The original Biosound one with CD and floor stand, do they screw together, or is it just uh, fit on the lug and on the stand? I think there's little bolts. There, there is a there is a I fuck. I don't think so. I think it they just it just sits. On which one? Uh, the... On the on the floor stand. I think it just sits because I never remember having any piece of hardware to attach it. I know that the wall bracket uh has a little screwy deal that you can that you can fasten the Biosound one to it, but I but really you, don't think that the floor stand had anything that would actually like it had. It's the two floor pegs. stand that I had. I had the table stand for it. 
There's no table stand for the beer sound one. No, you just sit it on no, the fucking no. table. Yeah, yeah, it's both right. You tripping, dog? You tripping? Yeah, messing up <laughs> all the things. <laughs> so, yeah, I think there was only two pegs on that black plate uh, that you could pull up, and and essentially you could unplug it or plug it back in and and put it on the, on a the floor stand, but. I do not believe that there was any securing it to anything. Yeah, that's the 90s in the crate behind me. Is, there's a lot of laughs to pack, bro. Tell you what. It took about three hours to do them. Okay. Uh, as for took, just... The boxes took the longest to assemble. And, and <laughs> the worst part, uh, which I don't know how the an, uh, 50s work with the lifting and whatever, are these fucking grommets, the rubber grommet that hold the, the those wood panels on the bottom of the speaker. They are utter bitch to pull out because you have to pull all the bottom ones out because that's where the the fastening posts come into and then that screws into the pallet. Oh, they'll survive the trip, man. Don't you worry. If, if it doesn't survive the trip, then most likely everything in that container would have been lost too. And that's, uh, I'll be out quarter melon <laughs> and a very sad man, but I'll have it insured as fuck. That's for damn sure. So. By the way, you can, uh, I need your address again. <laughs> you, you can change the, the, the gesture control with, uh, the dongle, uh, which is really rather nice. What do you mean? Uh, so like I just had up, right? So uh, double tap on the left or right ear cup. You can, nor the normal thing is you can toggle the EQ, but you can do also change oh, okay. it to mute, unmute, or play pause, or next, or previous. That's cool. So uh, you, you can do it how you want to. Hmm. Also, uh, if you... Uh, uh, have the dongle inserted in the PC, uh, but you do not wish to automatically uh, connect to it, uh, you can uh, set that uh, uh, in the, the settings uh, where you can uh, auto-connect to the dongle or not. Uh, it'll disconnect itself automatically after not having uh, 15 minutes of any incoming noise from your PC. But if you then want to reconnect, you press the, the on button once and it takes under two seconds and it's reconnected. Mm. It's really bloody quick. But uh, just in case you just want to use it with your phone or iPad or whatever else, it's actually uh, kind of handy that way. But if you, if you want to do it vice versa, if you do not want to uh, connect it to your phone, you can uh, auto connect, disconnect the auto connect for Bluetooth. <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. and then uh, if that is off you press the bluetooth button on the other side and that takes three to four seconds and it's connected to, uh, to your phone again hmm. also really quite uh, quick I like the how, how flexible these are I really do my favorite headset so far that I've owned in, uh, out of all the headsets that I've ever owned <laughs> oh, it's, yeah, these are my Bitcoin machine uh, server towers here. <laughs> yeah, they're it's uh, 177 kilos per box as far as the uh, the lab 90s are concerned. That's the total weight now. Those crates were a pain in the dick, man. Put them together. <laughs> God ah, damn I it. Bet. Because they put it together, obviously wrong, right? Because mm -hmm. the speakers are situated in a certain way so that one goofy plate that has a, a box in it where all those wires and hardware and stuff that they give you with it or all the trinkets. So I put it all in like, oh, shit, wrong way. Take it all apart. And, you know, you got to be careful with it because it's, cause it's, uh, it's so close to the edge. The crowns are so close to the edge of the box that you don't want to catch it with the with the metal those metal pins that uh or those leaflets that bend over and basically lock into place so yeah it was a little bit of a nail biter but then that's the the new boxes are cardboard apparently yeah i think um, so 
So. Yeah, my box of uh, what is it? 18 kilos is still not here. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Uh, I I bought some more 17s. <laughs> oh, you fucking crazy! <laughs> they're so versatile. <laughs> they are. They're, they're lovely. They're they're fabulous. Where are you gonna put them? Uh, in the U.S. Storage. house, most likely. <laughs> yeah, storage for now. <laughs> I mean, I, I could I could put some on the floor here and there, or like have the wide roll fill since there's no speaker there. I mean, I could put it right next to this black chair one, and then. So... Did you get the stands for him? Uh, no, oh. uh, they're uh, the uh, what you call it, the wall mount version. Oh. That's fine. Yeah. They're still in Sweden for crying out loud. <laughs> well, stuck in the border with the truckers and shit or what? Probably something like that. But uh, uh, What was the seller's name? Uh, Anders. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I know. I know Anders. It seems like a sketchy guy to make business with. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> Well, good thing we have photographic evidence of his ex existence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's sweet. So, but yeah, it's not coming, coming with post Nord. Yes. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. You get you get four of them instead of one or two. Yeah, yeah or you just get the covers. It's like crap. Or anything expensive. They just in this way. they just rattle inside. Yeah. Oh my god! Everything's broken inside. Yeah. So, by the way, Anders uh, on the second hand market here in Sweden, he, he's of all the bio, he's always had like three or four ads out like all the time. You're going scrolling through all the things and like, oh, I recognize that and Anders, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's one I recognize. Oh, yeah, Anders, yeah, yeah. So kind of uh, guy that buys and sells, want to own everything, kind of like Willy. Yeah, I got over that though. I well, I still had everything. I the only thing I really didn't have uh, own so far is the fifties, twenty eight, and harmony. Yeah. So uh, these seventeens uh, will be mine eventually once yeah. they arrive. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And then match your other ones. So yeah, perfect. Yeah, I actually kind of wanted a different color for once, but then that sort of also made sense to have the same color as the ones I already have. Yeah, I just gotta get more because, white. Get the white. Yeah, film. when you move, you're probably gonna use them all in like one killer setup. So, yeah, just seamless, looking good all together. So yeah. Well, actually, partially yes, but uh, looking at housing layout, quite often what seems to be uh, going on in America is that uh, uh, living rooms enter sort of. Like, if your TV is there, the cooking island in quite a lot of houses is right behind you. Which is fine. Like, it's a big room. But, like, if your rear speakers are 18s, they're kind of hard to place because quite often the kitchen goes right into the corner. Uh, so what do you do there? And then you have a, a sort of breakfast nook off to the side of it. So I was thinking, well, in that case, uh, I'll put my 18 somewhere else, multi-room one. Uh, and just have another set of 17 so you can mount them above kitchen cabinets and whatnot on the wall. Yeah. So, and that's much easier have... to put in a space like that. Yeah. So I think you are probably use all your 17s in the same room and, yeah, move the 18s. So that's, yeah, that's better. Yeah. I also still have this uh... yeah. can. This whole audio box. So if I oh, want... there we go again. <laughs> well, it's just such a good product for what it is. Is that if you want a, a stereo connect uh, uh, your beer labs to uh, anything with an HDMI arc out, you can just do yeah. it, and it's your secondary TV or your guest room or something like that. Yeah, so, it's good power link output. Uh, yeah, and with a trigger, which which is nice. So. Uh, I mean, it works for 28s, it works for 50s. I still haven't been able to test 5s, but I don't th see a reason why it shouldn't work. No, but should be. But, uh, 
I mean, so, uh, yeah. yeah, like I said in this review, I'm keeping this because it's it's an excellent way of uh, sort of getting into B&O uh, when you don't want the whole BioVision uh, straight off the bat. Yeah, it's yeah. so worth the money comparing to, you know, BIO's own stuff that they have. But yeah. It's smaller, more affordable, and does more. So yeah. What? The uh, what's it called? The whole box or called? No, oh, the whole audio. Yeah. Comparing it to, to the core, that. Well, core has the core only. Is bigger, more expensive, and not as versatile. Oh so, yeah. It is, but I think the the only thing that core really has going for itself is the a power link output and b uh, network link interface. That's yeah. it. But from the most streaming people, services new to the are... whole system. Yeah, well, that doesn't make sense. Directly. Yeah, like if you just have one room or you're starting up, like I'd rather go with the whole yeah. audio as a noob, right? And and enjoy my speakers. Yeah. And then yeah, if you get, you know, okay, so if I'm gonna start getting into more BNO, then what do I do? Then yeah, you would replace that with the core and you know, yeah, if you buy a TV or something. Nothing else, yeah. I mean, yeah, correct. It, it, it's a bit more of a beginning product, I guess. Uh, this is more like if you want to dabble in some uh, does, active beer labs. Yeah, yeah I'd say you bought a pair of eight eight thousands on uh, whatever ad website, and you know, because you like them and you just want to tie them into your little LG or a Samsung TV. And this is a perfect solution for it. But, also, if my mother-in-law ever comes by and let's say this is attached to the TV in the guest bedroom, I don't at all want her to have uh, uh, the opportunity to give a join command. <laughs> that or she's going to hold a fucking old standby for three seconds and uh, everything turns off in the house, right? Yeah. She can shut off your TV, so no. I mean, uh, I, I'm not the biggest fan of that music. Uh, most likely it'll be <laughs> fine for once, but it's it's just better when there's no opportunity to. <laughs> what to join her shit? That she that she can just go join, join, join. What, why is this join button not going away? <laughs> and then press join a bunch of times on all the devices. Take it away. <laughs> like no PV there for guests that do not know how BNO operates. Yeah, I guess. Evening, Steve. I don't know. Uh, people get used to it though like shit my mom was like oh my god I'm, uh, I'm like fuck no she doesn't know how to live without it because it's BNO everywhere in the house right it's uh, older stuff but it works yeah DJ Neo said I heard the 50s 28s for the first time today amazing sound the 28s also sounded amazing so you're more of a fan of the 50s than the 28s I take it I mean it's just Surely that must have been a nice experience. Uh, I still remember the first time I heard the 50s. I'll never forget the first time I heard the 90s. That too. But that was much later for me. And I'm yeah, happy it that was... it was much later. <laughs> because otherwise it would have gone broke on speakers. <laughs> no, I did it the other way. Around. The, <laughs> the 50s weren't even in existence. Like I, I've heard them when... Uh, BLF fives became the rear channels in uh, Denmark, that little factory, whatever they have the showroom downstairs, the fictional store. And that that the theater where most of those yeah, cool pictures come from. That was uh that was the not the first time I've heard them, but that's where that's where we sat. It's just like holy shit balls. Well, actually that was the second trip, but the first trip it was in the it was in the barn in uh, Nora Vorsborg, uh, a hotel, which is like high end, whatever it was, with golf and horses and shit. It's pretty cool. And they had them behind this huge tarp. And people, you know, like walking in, mingling and shit, you know, and then it's time for everybody to take a seat. And I'm like, fuck that, man. I'm going to be shoulder checking people out of my way to get to the X spot, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I sat right on the X on the middle chair and then uh jeff played that goofy those um, those oh, yeah, that, yeah 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 those, those 
five or six black guys with super deep voices, right? And um, I was like, well, that's not calls the again. best fucking demo, but okay, holy shit, how they sound. And then they played some music, and I'm like, wow, dude, this sucks, man. I want those speakers. Yeah. And I'll do what it takes them. to get them. And yeah. sure and shit, lo and behold, got back in, uh, that was in April. Yeah. No, November. It was November because it was the 90th birthday. 2015. The... 2015. It was November 20. November 17, 2015 is when they were officially yeah. an- introduced on the BNO's 90th birthday. I've heard them a few days before that. Yeah. Already, and it's funny because I went to the uh, Copenhagen BNO shop right, and like they were setting them up and being all secretive, and, and like I already heard these. I'm like, like wait till you set them up. They 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 will blow your mind. And then, like, how do you know that? Because <laughs> they just came from the from Struer. <laughs> and yeah, it was it was pretty cool. They went there on the 18th, like day after, because obviously they had the event, and uh, just looked at them, right? Because I, I I could care less for the sound. I knew what they sounded like, and I didn't want to be, you know, I don't care to bother people. But man, yeah. yeah. I don't know why he picked that, but that's just what it is. Well, it's, it's, it's uh, a it's very on, dynamic uh, tune. Yeah, it's on many kind of these kind of records for testing audio and all that. DJ Especially, Neo, if they had those speakers set properly, if that you heard them, that's exactly what they sound like. There's no, I don't think that they they would crank up the bass and whatever. I don't think it's fair, but they are mind blowing. Like. 50s and 90s are mind blowing for the first time because you don't know what to expect and, and you sure as shit don't expect that much volume and, and, and clarity out of the speaker. You just don't. No it's matter how endless. yeah. No matter how prepared you think you are to hear them once, and if you hear your own good not your own good music, but your own tunes that you use to, to check how speakers sound or your reference tracks rather. Yeah, man, you'll shit a golden nugget. It's unbelievable what they sound like. Yeah, I it's remember. Funny. I mean, I heard them the first time me and my girlfriend after this we sat at the cafe and just was so almost feeling ill because it was so, so much that has been, you know, moving inside your head and the ear, and you just go, oh, I'm a bit tired. I mean, it's just such an experience. It's so physic, uh, physical, you know, to have this kind of speaker do Yeah, it's like a light concussion you, yeah. at like 80 volume. <laughs> Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, I, I, just, they leave damn. they leave a deep impression. Yeah. I understand. They leave a deep impression in 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 you. Like for me, it was funny because when I decided to pull the trigger on them after we went to see them in Vancouver with Nick, because Nick never heard them. Like, dude, you need to see them. And they had the traveling pair, right? It was the same story, like with the harmony, you could see it. Yeah. Uh, so we drove out to Vancouver, and. I don't think we spoke the entire way home. Like, <laughs> no, we just... didn't even like we didn't even have the stereo on. Nothing, man. Like it's just like, dude. Like I can't even. I'm just preserving Need that recover, that yeah. awesomeness in my ears still that I was dipped into it. And, and the worst uh, thing for me was that in April, the same year before they were launched, I got the Be Love Fives. I mean, the the best, the pinnacle of Bang Olsen speaker. I finally got them. Place them at home. Oh my God, damn! I got the best bangles and speaking. And you know, a couple of months later, they released in the nineties. It's not just like the fifties and fives, because that's a big leap. But here, it was just. I mean, it's a whole. Number, yeah, they came out with the nineties. Like, yeah, they came out with the nineties. I think. Not that I would say that they came out with them ten years early, because like you know, in ten years from now, like the text changed how much, right? Comparatively, like if we're talking, you know, for their hundredth birthday in twenty twenty five, what are they gonna top it up with? Like you're not gonna come up with an awesome TV because who gives a shit? The LG panel, right? You're gonna have to make some sort of a speaker, and I hope to Christ on a cross that it's not gonna be some bullshit headphone edition like H ninety fives and whatnot. Like that's, you know what I mean? But how do you top this? Make it smaller. That's actually, about it. Yeah, 
Yeah, but that's not possible time. to make it smaller to have that much performance out of it because you're going against the physics of the driver size, right? Yeah, but you can make yeah, more before, base with yeah. a longer throwing 10 inch than the 10 inches that are in here. Mm -hmm. No, I understand that, but still, I wonder what the, yeah, BOLAB 100s per se, if they're even going to call them. I think they're going to call them BOLAB Century. That's my prediction. Yeah. Would be nice. Although yeah. I have a feeling they won't have. Uh, they won't be as exclusive as this. I don't think so either. No. Maybe something like uh, BLF20 is so people can afford it and buy it, and, or even more like BLF18s, maybe more like it. But, we have but these see. speakers are still such a good deal for what they are performance wise, horsepower wise. The whole bit, like you cannot replicate that, even like. Even if they are 140,000 Canadian dollars, you cannot replicate that sound quality with any other equipment for that money. There is no way. Yeah. Which is weird because, yeah, they're almost twice as much as almost when it came out, and still they are good value almost. Yeah. Weird to say it, but yeah. Well, they were better value when new. <laughs> Yeah, but still, people complain as hell about them being too expensive. And again, no. Good These are $25,000 more, the white ones, because of the sales. They're 165000 Canadian bucks. So these give you a little more room to work with if you were to stack third-party equipment on top of one another to get some to, to come close to this, but you never will. <clears throat> Could it, just uh, could it potentially be that B and O is also internally complaining a bit at ma about making these? Because Why? surely it must be a pain in the ass to have that chassis made to order, and like nothing about this speaker is easy to do. Like, no, it doesn't Absolutely sell not. easy because it's mega money. It's hard to make because they get a bloody foundry uh, to, to pour the, the aluminium. Uh, then you have the problems with the driver selection that you're dependent on all uh, the external companies. Uh, and then you're dependent on the aluminium suppliers and the foundry. And it's like, God, uh, in terms of making something, this is maybe a bit too specialized almost i would agree i think this is the most special product that they are made that they currently have in the portfolio because the rest of them like you know no insult to the 50s but they're still made of that uh, abs fiber plastic right like that's that's a bullshit mold and it's much smaller than that where this is you know like you're pouring 65 kilos of molten aluminium into a form that then needs to be rattled the fuck out of <laughs> to get the sand out. I wonder if they, because the process was that they actually had to wait, uh, uh, I think, eight hours or, or more for the molds to cool down sufficiently enough that they could get the sand out of it. Because <clears throat> the structure of the speaker is so rigid that when they first did it, they this is sand wouldn't come out. They had to rebake the entire chassis to get bake the glue off of it <clears throat> to put it uh, to get to put it back to the rocker to get the to get the stuff out of it. It's an it's insane amount of effort that goes into putting that speaker together. And it's hard to see it because <clears throat> unless you had that gift and, and blessing that I had to, to walk the factory as they were making these things, which is only few people got the, their eyes uh, on it. Uh, it's insane how much that process is uh, tedious. Yeah. So, and uh, for that reason, I always love those speakers. I mean, I, I totally agree. I, I, anybody that <clears throat> will ever hear these will love them, I think. There's, if, if you ever go to a demo of these and you go away and thinking, meh, whatever, it's probably a you thing and not a speaker thing. Yeah. But I do understand that Bino may not make another flagship like this just because it's so much harder to make margins on and or... Not in a 10 years' time. Yeah. And also, you're so dependent on uh, expertise outside the company. 
yeah like the uh the molding of the chassis and that sort of thing so w will they make another flagship for sure but not in the long why? term no i also it's still think... killer this yeah i mean why top something that's already the best and especially this level this soon i mean it's just not it's most profitable i guess for them to do it so i think the the 100 years anniversary would be yeah something like in uh, build up 18 successor or something like that what if it's a build up 17 successor and they just call it build up 27 <laughs> I mean something more affordable but still very iconic for Bang Orson something that most people as with the 18s people buy well wouldn't the 18s more or less tiny an icon 50s. level like 50s yeah. this side and the base drivers <laughs> are 4 inch drivers and then yeah. the mid range like on the 50s are the, the full range drivers and the tiny but you almost little have it like you almost already have it on the freaking balance yeah, <laughs> that kind of communicates the same shape. Of then it, you really. have the, like this tweeter <clears throat> thing that goes. Ee, 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 ee. <laughs> but what have them as the desktop speakers? Yeah, something like that, and you can say, uh, uh, "I want to watch a movie uh, with one or two people," and it goes. Like, ee. <laughs> <laughs> but I, don't I don't know. I honestly friends. don't know what they will do. I think that, like, I I more or less see the the twenty eighth as a as a subtle. Subtle replacement for the 18s. That's my take on them. That uh, I don't think the 18s are going anywhere. Because yeah, it's more of a design status icon than a good sounding speaker at this point of time. Yeah, comparatively correct. to everything else. But they just got so much more pretty on them than any other speaker that they would be foolish, in my opinion to discontinue that speaker production. It's also kind of silly that uh, 7,750 euro is now the cheapest uh, bio lab speaker you can buy, unless you're looking at a sub. But... <laughs> Polishing yeah. cloths went up, so. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta, raise it up. I don't know, I, uh, I, I love them. I was gonna look there here. They're not. They're already packed. Everything's fucking packed. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I only have a shape now going, and my TV and BioSound One, which I'm glad that I haven't packed because I gotta take it for an in-house demo on Tuesday, and the M3. So I thought about it perfectly. I'm gonna have my own network link in, in link environment in my mom's place while I'm staying there because I'll have the TV and I'll put the M3 in the bathroom <laughs> so she can have her master link throughout the whole house. And I'll have my shit on my side. Man, there's so much work in that house when I move there before I go. Because, like, she's got a fucking hit list, honey do list, honey this list. I don't even know what to call it anymore, but I got lots to do before I. Uh... So I just hope the visas go fast. <laughs> Good luck. Goodbye. That's <laughs> right. I'm out. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be fun times. But uh, I still think that they should replace uh, the 17s with something. They should have the book, lab, book, book shelf speakers. I just absolutely detest the black 18. I'm yeah. not racist. I fucking hate them, though. I just cannot deal. The lenses look like they're made of plastic. But the frets yeah, are actually do. made of plastic, aren't they? I know. Yeah, the, the, the lamellas are. It's all, it's all just whatever. But it's, it was interesting because yeah. when they showed us this in 2015 uh, in uh, in Denmark, and they, I think it was Torsten himself, or no Christian Krab, he 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 brought the the tweeter lens of the of the 18 and, and anodized in black, and I honestly thought it was a three 3D printed prototype, like the first thing, right? And then I grabbed him like, oh shit, this is actually real metal. And it's like, yeah, so they're toying with the idea of making it, uh, making a black speaker. And nobody, nobody agreed with them. They said, no, don't do it. It's going to look weird. And here we are. I don't like it. I just don't like the black. It, it looks this utterly is, boring. This is a, utterly boring. again a case of renders. Uh, do not trust the website. They do not look this black yeah. in real life. 
Yeah, they yeah, do. They're much more, yeah, much more. Yeah, but they're more shiny. Yeah, they have more reflection to them. Yes, of course, but like you know, in the virtual space of Matrix, nothing reflects. So no, but if you go look at a, a reg- an actual picture of them, uh, the actual pictures look nicer. I feel. I don't know. I love the 18s look, and they're perfect rear channels for me. I don't think that I would uh, even bother with anything else. I mean, if if they ever, I want to buy a Lab 11 actually. That's if they ever could just get Anders over and take regular pictures of the shit they actually make, instead of having these render farms running all day long. Like they're black, but they're not. Okay. They're not like sucking the sunlight light out of the room type mm-hmm. of black. I mean, in 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 a head-on like this, the the lamellas look almost more like a very dark gray than black. I mean, yeah. I like them more in real life than on the website. Also, in terms of uh, combo, the normal oak with the black is uh, kind of decent. I like that. Uh, so, many, so many variations, it, and it still looks good in like, all kind of variations. So yeah, that's a really good sign of a good looking speaker. I Yeah, that's. I don't think you can ever do really do away with them unless you really want to go like, yeah, whatever, it's done now, heritage, be damned. Like the only look it's kind of weird looking is to have this uh black uh 80s with white, they, you know what? Like, looks. they kind of would just fit into a like your theater type of thing where you don't want to see the speakers at all, right? You got dark walls and shit. that's where you put that, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's kind of my setup, but maybe put walnut lamellas on it to, to offset the uber boring of the complete black, but. I just, I'm not a fan, man. I don't like the black speakers. They just look too conventional to every other speaker that all the other manufacturers make, man. Most of the speakers are black. Yeah, but still, the sign of it in real life, uh, you can really see the shape of it. It looks way better, especially in black with either the old black, black, or black with wooden. Uh, covers because it has a very mean look to it and it fits so much else in some decors when it is very masculine black tone and so it yeah industrial feel to it it looks very good with aluminium it's kind of blends in too much and this one stands out even more so some places most places where it actually it looks good very good Yeah, I yeah, I guess to each their own. Like, see, lab fives in black, I like more than I like the lab fives in white. I like Same them. Thing. I still the black ones over the bronze or something like that. So yeah. So, but that's yeah, everybody's personal taste. Yeah. And yeah, I just I as a know. general sensibility, most likely it's best to buy Bang Nelson in natural aluminium. But this the, same kind of... That's right. You're impervious to change. And if you get a, into a relationship like, you know, if I were to get in a relationship more tolerable to if you, like, essentially combine your interiors together when you move in together, it's easier to just, like, instead of, like, oh, right, this is fucking atrocity going, honey. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, But I'm but, still, like, kind of against that because it's the same when you buy, like, a expensive car or something i want the silver one because the 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 salary value and you're buying a color for the next buyer i mean buy something that you like and enjoy it and if you sell it that's somebody else's problem yeah that's not really my so. way of thinking though it's it's more no, no, so no, like it, mine. In, yeah but like if i i buy another set of 18s let's say i'm gonna expect them to be functional for 10 years yeah. In ten years' time, the interior design of the place you live in could change quite drastically. Yeah, but still, when you buy something that you think at the time looks good, I and mean, what's to say that it shouldn't be matching something in ten or 
So it, you no, can see, if you go with silver, I think if you go with style. silver, you never, you will never go wrong with piano no, no, because no, you never go wrong, that but... that follows through their entire language for what now, fifty years, forty years since they started dabbling in aluminium. Yeah. So, you know, like you could pair seventeens with the Bio Center nine thousand. Yeah. Still would look kick ass, you know. Yeah. But if you put 17s in bronze ver beside a Bio Center 9000, then it's going to look a little off. Yeah. So and I get that. But if you're having, you know, if you like bronze and have other stuff in bronze and you want to change stuff, yeah, you can still sell them and buy. Of course. Yeah, you can, or, and you yeah, can complement yeah. it differently. Yeah. I don't know. I, I always love the, the, just the, the pure aluminum color. Like it, it's just, it's awesome, dude. And whatever you yeah, put it me, up again. I mean, it's the same when uh, when I actually bought them from the beginning. Uh, that because of the aluminium, it blends in so well. As I as as you have and as rear speakers, especially yeah. when I pass them um, uh, most of the time. So they kind of have to blend in very nice to the ball. And yeah, and, and it's, at the same time they stand out. So it's kind of. Cool, they can do both at some time. So yes. Yeah, I'm I'm fully yeah, like even if and I, even if even at the times where B and O like let's let's go back to Biovision seven, right? That thing came in blue, red, yellow, or gold, yeah. uh, and black and natural aluminium. And I have never no, okay, I can't say never. I, I've sold one red TV for absolute peanuts because it was our floor demo. And I actually, quite frankly, cannot believe that TV is still working. It's been 15 years that it's worked. Because when they first get, came out with the TVs, that TV was on the wall before I even worked there. And when I started, you know, dabbling into like user guides and figuring out the secret software menus and whatnot, and I went to the service counter at the time when I had started, that TV already had 10,000 hours on it. Still, I like those colors, especially the, the blue and the red ones. Yeah, yeah, I digress with the nonsense, but I, I just, I'm just from practicality perspective like even when the lab nines were all these m messed up colors because that they, they went through the entire portfolio right we never sold black or gray that's it that's it we had one guy that's uh, well their house is completely white everything is white so to him i had to order a set of uh, extra grills when we were shutting the store down because he bought this, the, the the 20s in black like these are the Mark ones without the lit up logo, which is weird when you see them now. Like, oh fuck, these are broken. <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah. So, but yeah, standard aluminium. We should throw it in a pole and see what happens. Uh, That's yeah, another tedious 90, thing to manufacture. More will go yeah. aluminium. This is definitely the most tedious grill that they have ever undertook to make. So I absolutely love it. Yeah, dude, yeah, like I would buy the 50s just because of the damn grill. I love the look of it. I absolutely love the look of it. It's the, you can stare at it forever, man. Yeah, especially if you have really good, cool lighting at home. I mean, yes, yeah, as you say, it's like an amazing to look at. Yeah, dude. Uh, what are you doing over there? I'm making some. Uh... Uh, choices because it doesn't have to be a, a, a yay or nay question oh I see so do different colors yeah so I put in a natural aluminium black uh, bronze and other so the only uh, answer that will be another one would be me I, I would say almost I'm well, uh, I think uh, <laughs> David is here somewhere. At least I think he said hi earlier, and he always puts in the wrong answer on any poll. <laughs> <laughs> Misclick. <laughs> That's funny. 
But yeah, for me, it's still aluminium because it's the preferred one, but I still get if you want to have black bronze or gold or whatever, because if you like it, yeah, sure. I mean, I bought the black uh, 17s and yeah, it worked nice. Uh, generic enthusiast asks, uh, do 50s look better than 90s? Personally, with this cover, I think so, yes. Yeah. But I'm also incredibly biased because I lived with them for a long time. Yet, I still have, in a way, more respect for 90s since what they do. But that's like... a, a, a like Mikey takes his hat off every time he comes by the nineties by the shop. No, it's one of these things where uh you know people ponder the question like is love blind? And as soon as you hear fifties and nineties next to each other, it's sort of like, yeah, okay, love is blind. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> love is blind. <laughs> you know, I don't I, Yeah, like, for me it's very much depending on the uh, the variation of the fifties because with this uh Aluminium grill and the right. It looks much better, I think, but still, the 90s have so much with that structure and that shape. It's like a modern sculpture that is something happens more. It's, it's like the Vila fire. There's so much happening without them having turned on. The, the fires, you have to almost have them turn on and the right you know, aluminium grill to, and the right lightning. Uh, lighting at it so mm -hmm. then it happens so i think turned off fires and uh, 90s do more but yeah with the 90s you especially have to have the place otherwise they just look kind of too big unless you have the white ones because th those blend in way way more than kind of the, the black uh, or the regular black to uh, oak say here, here's a perfect angle of how. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since Sunny is here, like yeah. I might as well show his uh, similar speaker off, except his are smoked yeah. like, on the side. So here you can see how really it looks very thin now compared to what they actually are in real life. But they are kind of thin. You, they, not... Yeah, but if you're spinning up right in front of uh, them, you can see it really chubby. But here it's just, yeah, they are kind of thin, especially they're not round, they're kind of triangular. So yeah, you're fooling the eye that it's bigger than they actually are. They're quite yeah, the thinner than the, 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 the five. So yeah. I mean, to put it this way, I, I I don't like I don't dislike at all what fifties or nineties look like. I I like the way nineties look. They're just yeah. pretty massive. And uh, uh, who is it? Downstar says, which I totally agree. Like in white, like you have them, Willie. They're Fucking gorgeous. They're beautiful. Yeah. I think they're the most beautiful speaker variant but, of or color variant of them. But in black, far. it's sort of like, ooh, that's big it's and very bulky. dominant. Yeah. Very dominant yeah. looking. I've they're had not, them in the black here and they kind of have very big space because they're sucking up so much space and air almost because they're way look. wider looking when they're black. Way. Like they just have that oh, that huge stance where yeah. The, 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 they're sleek and slender, you know, Which like I a woman in a beautiful dress. If most uh, Bang Olsen stores had them in white, they would sell a bit more, I guess, because people would feel that they are actually smaller than they really are at home. So people are like, yeah, see, honey, you can squeeze them in. Yeah, and also the, the WAF or wife acceptance factor is much better on the white speakers yeah. of that size than the black ones. It's Not that I have one to gonna... worry about. Yeah. yeah. But everybody that I had over here over the years and seen them and obviously heard them, first they're like, holy shit, that's a speaker? I'm like, yeah. And they follow up with how many noise complaints do you get a week? And I only got three in six years that I've lived here. So that ain't bad. <laughs> I'm not a bad neighbor then, you know, every yeah, now and then. Yeah, no, it, so few complaints with having the 90s and your volume, yeah, that's nothing. I averaged one complaint per two years, y'all. Yeah, that's nothing. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, I, uh... 
yeah, I like them. I like them a lot. Yeah. Best speaker, best purchase I've ever done or made. Because even if I were to regret now and just like, fuck them, I'm going to sell those speakers, I can make double on them. Almost. Yeah. To what I had bought. It's not that often you can do that with a speaker or electronic. Any electronics for that matter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's an insanity. But no, they're gonna they're gonna enjoy nice and humid free air of Florida. So I seal them up so I, when I open them I can just I can smell Calgary still. <laughs> 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 the smell of oppression. <laughs> That's why I usually do that with clients when I open their new TV. I just go, oh, I see, you can still smell the Denmark in it. <laughs> a couple actually did take a sniff of the box. It was funny. But yeah. Cigarettes and beer. Yeah. <laughs> I love the smell of new electronics. It smells so good. <laughs> It's a very different, it's the same with cars now, that mm. newer cars doesn't smell that good anymore compared to like old cars. When you, buy, when you buy a new car back in the day, especially with the leather and all that, this, the new car smell was actually good. Now it, everything just smells uh, you know, plastic or not real. To say, to say. Because it's, it's all recycled. This is the world you advocated for. <laughs> I <laughs> you. I still have leather in my new uh, the uh, Hyundai Ionic, but still it doesn't smell good. And, it's probably yeah. leather red. It's probably not real leather. No, that's real leather. That's real leather. Are, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I like at some point it always comes down to fucking because, uh, 150 Thomas in the chat. Out of was kind of mad about it being real leather on the European market then, because other brands or others in Asia that actually offered with lead rats and I could do with lead rats it's no problem but yeah so it's still leather rats on what smell the seats like on my the... car are they they're fake not... leather no they're real leather but they offer leather rats in uh, different parts of the market so in Asia that's you can uh, still have them in lead rats yeah it's uh... cheddar it's it's a cheddar it's Chinese leather bro it's again you don't even know what you're sitting on and you got a rash on your ass from some I would actually prefer microfiber. I mean, I mean, I mean the Alcantara, so more Alcantara. That's, that's perfect for me. I think I'm allergic to my seeds, bro. <laughs> I break out in shingles or some shit every time you drive it. Oh no. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't drive a Chinese car. Nope. Would you drive a Chinese-made car? Hell no. Parts. <laughs> So yeah, it's a freaking trunk full of parts. So they don't know what you're going to lose off of it. No, I I used to have just... Mazda. I, I had two Mazdas and two Nissan Sentras. And I'm done with, you know. Yeah, but I mean, I have the Oppo player. It's Chinese made, made in China. But doesn't mean it's bad. It's old. Yeah, but compared. you don't have a worry that you pull up on a client's driver and you're going to leak teriyaki sauce out of the fucking transmission or something, man. I, that, I don't, you know, plus well, it doesn't look good. It's German made, so I have no faith in this whatsoever. I mean. Would I, I mean, drive a cyber truck? I think so. I don't mind. The, the design is crazy, but I think it would look, it, it, would, it would go good with B&O's, like, you know, extravagant go thing going on. With Bill and Pantas, that would go perfectly. I mean, that's the, that's a DeLorean speaker. I mean, that would fit them perfectly. <laughs> Brian super chat me a new sub for. <laughs> Don't forget to add thirty percent for YouTube. <laughs> but have you seen the, the new uh, pickup that's electric, the Rimic or Rumic or Rivian or Rivian or whatever it's called? No, it's a new company that's made it. Uh, actually, it's in production or it's on sale already. It's very cool to have this uh, flatbed truck, especially when they mm. have a big kind of loading kind of uh, trunk space in between or beneath the bed almost. That yeah, it's very cool. I would like to buy the electric Humvee. That thing's yeah. fucking sick, man. That is a true. American pride built yeah. car, man. I can't like fucking love it, bro. Okay. 
Why wouldn't you? I hope it's better than the H2. I'll get you some PVRs to go. <laughs> Jesus. I want to like the old school Chinese Hummer. Quality. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna no, follow... I want the old school Hummer. I'm going to follow you with a camera until you get arrested. And then if you scream, I'm white trash and I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> America. Yeah. But yeah, America. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> I uh yeah, I don't know. I I the the cyber truck is a little of a stretch for me to drive. But I would like an old school Humvee, man. I would totally buy a diesel. Like that thing is an apocalypse vehicle. That'll start no matter what. Because yeah. there's no electronics in it. Instead of these new cars now with the freaking Google services and all this shit spying on you everywhere. I'm just waiting at what point of my life the insurance companies will tie into the goddamn system in the cars. But just buy an old Toyota Land Cruiser or something like that. You or already are, Toyota depending Pickup. on if you want a cheaper rate. You have to get one of these USB-powered GPS systems in your car. Oh, I thought they do it to the OBD port. That it powers from there. Well, you have different kinds, but yeah, because the the one I think that what I'm talking about is that it records. That you got to upload every now and then mm -hmm. through the app. But uh, yeah, I don't know how much I would score on that because I <laughs> see. But that's the thing. Like, okay, so when you're taking off the lights, right? Yeah. Uh... And you you rip it because fuck it, right? Why not? Uh -huh. Is that going to go against your shit now? Yes. That's dumb. Because there's a G sensor in there. I know. Or an accelerometer, too. I'm sure that it's taking the fucking information of your speedometer as well and everything else. Uh huh. Yes. Including what you're listening to and where you're driving. Yeah. Because not all uh, areas are as safe to drive as others. Yeah, it's it's insane actually for my insurance. Like, if I uh, change my insurance to this address, my premium would go up. I think twenty five bucks a month. But because I'm outside of the city, and this is it's so stupid. Because when I used to live in Auburn Bay, mm -hmm. uh, I parked outside. So there's been days where fucking running outside throwing moving blankets on top of the car and so i can throw plywood sheets on top of it because the storm was coming fucking golf ball hails falling down right mm -hmm. you have nowhere to nowhere to store the car but yet that ensure and if i had not done that i would have written the car off but for some reason it is safer to be there than in a enclosed heated parking lot with two doors to go through before you park with yeah, fucking but... cameras everywhere. There are 16 pictures of you angles before you park the vehicle. But it's not so... about the parking, is it? It's about the driving. Well, I guess. But yeah. how is it any different? Like, if I go out through here and I well, go the out Well, the actuaries will know if you have idiots that walk out into traffic quite often and that uh, arises, uh, makes insurance claims go up. I guess. Like, to put it this way, right? Uh, uh, I had friends in uh, the US and uh, one of their sons was going to school and his grades actually partially determined uh, insurance cost for driving uh, because oh. uh, generally smarter people uh, get into less uh, bad accidents. So it actually made a difference to his car insurance if he was a, a B minus student or an A plus student. I would agree with that. I completely would agree with that because the fellow that ran us off the road definitely crickets upstairs. Definitely crickets. Sure, but there's what? quite a lot of people that are not applying themselves, but they aren't that dumb, nor would they actually make any worse mistakes. Some people are very book smart, but dumb as bag of hammers when it comes to actual life knowledge. You know, they're the degree smart doesn't make you doesn't make you smart. It makes you a politician more or less at this point. Yeah. So yeah, what car has eight hundred kilos? Like that's a small ass car. A low to seven. K car. Smart roadster. Oh, okay. <laughs>
I mean, Shit, uh, so you got like an upgraded lawnmower engine, 100 ponies? Damn, bro. Yeah, but on 800 kilos, that's quite a bit. Oh, yeah, dude. That thing would fly. <laughs> that thing would fly. It's a small car, though. I mean, Michael Christian, so you can laugh at a Mr. Bean car, but don't forget that the Mini became famous for rallying. It wasn't exactly slow. Really? Yeah, the original Mini became iconic when it uh, won the Monte Carlo Rally. I never knew that. Same with an old Saab, because they were so small and still had so good turning. and yeah. It was so tiny. Yeah, same with Power Porsche. to weight. Did a lot. Yeah, same with Porsche. It's always been power to weight, especially in rally and hill climbing and all this stuff. Yeah. I mean, so, uh, the John Cooper Works uh, versions of the day. Uh, I mean, you're talking about... The original Mini is probably like 600 kilos, 650 kilos, something like that. And if you hmm. uh, like tuned it, you could get it to around 150, 120 horsepower. That's right. Shit. So yeah. per ton, you're at like 200 ish horsepower per ton. Like that's decent today. I'd say, holy fuck. Like that's a whiplash off the lights. Like, that is insane. I mean, my, uh, but still 150? Hmm? That's 150 horsepower from no, the No, 115 engine. to 120, something like that. Yeah, that's... Yeah, still. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. Nowadays, yeah. with, with a... So I, I follow this YouTube channel, right? And they have, uh, they have one of these new Toyota Yaris GR things. And it has yeah. a, th a three-cylinder uh, 1.6-liter engine with a turbo yeah. on it. Well, they've been tuning it, and the block is still standard, yeah. and they're uh, at over 450 horsepower. That's crazy. I mean, this is <laughs> and this is an 1,100-kilo right? car, so per ton, this is like 350 uh, still, horsepower per ton. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah still... That's crazy. <laughs> and it's still in one piece. I mean, yeah, people are selling their Porsches just to get one of these uh, GR Yaris, or uh, yeah, called amazing cool. Yeah, the six-speed yeah. manual and all that. Yeah. Also, like Wood Cassette says, and, and none of those kilos were dedicated to safety in the original Mini. <laughs> that is totally correct. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yes, transverse mount the engine and put so many people you can. Uh, yeah. Push in, and yeah, my mother had a red one on those cars. I remember the wheels was 15 inch, and that's not just the whole wheel. Yeah, for the tire, the the rim was yeah. like 13 inch or something. Yeah, I think it was 15 or 13 or something. Yeah, it's crazy yeah. small. <laughs> yeah, it's like a bike with four, four wheels. For God's sake. Yeah, I think four speed. I think it was. Yeah. Well, also the steering wheel was at a weird angle. It was sort of like bus driver straight. Yeah, so you can get in easy. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> yeah, the, the brother <laughs> like of a, a truck. Yeah, seriously. Like you sat, you sat with like your knees in between or your hands in between your knees, and that's how you drove. Like, wow. Uh, the brother of a friend of mine had one of these for years, and uh, it, it it was a bloody go kart because it didn't weigh anything. <laughs> The 8,000 yeah. spit in them, but with the stand in the passenger as <laughs> well, and the top in the trunk. Holy shit, that's a small car, dude. Wow, I can put 8,000 in my A3 without even putting, uh, without even fucking around with the front seat. I have to put the back seat down, of course. That's hilarious. <clears throat> I mean, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it was a thing. I mean, my little Honda is still a big car compared compared to these, you know, old small cars. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And still, it's just a four seater. So yeah, hmm. it weighs weighs sixteen hundred or something. <clears throat> yeah, that's just... crazy. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. do a small car like that. Uh... My next one, I'm thinking. They set me in the A5 when I was uh, getting my auxiliary heater pump exchanged in my car. And I liked it. It's different when you deliver the cars and shit when, versus when you actually sit and go drive around and it's yours for a few days. So 
Yeah, yeah, for size difference, the the <clears throat> current mini versus the original one. The fucking current one can fit the original one inside itself. Yes, pretty much. Take the seats out and drive it right through the trunk from the back. Also, the 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 Monte Carlo version version then versus the Monte Carlo version now. Damn. <laughs> Look at those seats in there. Like, the people barely fit. Yeah. You'd have to have, like, a smaller book to read the fucking road directions out of because you couldn't flip a normal page. I just... Correct. Insane. The difference between my old Boxster from 2001 and the Boxster that I have now is, you know, you don't... You can sit between each other and not just... Uh, you can... Oh, hello. So, yeah, it's... That's the biggest difference that you actually get space for like people now inside compared to before. It just push grandma in so yeah, you can close the door. Yeah, that's insane. I bet you like half of like this modern stuff, why it's so large, right? <laughs> is that uh there's now standardized rules at where the center uh, how high the center of like your front lights, lights need to be. be yeah. And then and the uh, crash zones. Uh, yeah, and the then you have the pedestrian and, yeah. uh, nonsense. Safety going. on the the hood. Yeah, the, yeah, everything. Yeah. I mean, it's it's to the point where that already became a thing in the eighties because the original GMC DeLoreans uh, in Europe were about an inch lower than in North America because the rules for how high the light had to be to be road legal uh, was higher in North America than it was here. Yeah, really? It wasn't yeah. Allowed, yeah, it wasn't. The North way they Florida fixed that. California probably did that. The way, no, no, no. This was uh, the federal, uh, uh, what you call it, the highway people. The I way they fixed that is they put uh, rubber spacers in between the springs. For the North American cars? Yes, literally. <laughs> So as soon as you Makes got your sense. car, you could take these spaces out and your car would sit at the European height. <laughs> like, That's funny. It didn't change anything about the springs. There was literally like these separators in the springs just jammed in there with a mallet. <laughs> I remember the, the old separate citrons on the hydro pneumatic suspension was never allowed in the US. But still, you can regulate. But no, 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 no. Not, it's not good. Mm. That's one of them, very comfy uh, riding cars yeah. full time almost. Everything has gone a bit insane in terms of size. It's, uh... I mean, it's good in many ways, but I don't intend to crash that often. So maybe it's just. It's not, uh, uh, all my issue is that uh, they kind of fucked up the A3 now because they took the shift stick out of it. Now you just have a slider switch for drive and reverse. They still have to uh, operate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like a, yeah, yeah. The biggest issues with the latest 911 <clears throat> is also that the shifter on the PDK is, yeah, it's look, it looks like a brown shaver. Doesn't look good at all. <laughs> I mean, it's just, oh, I'm going to sport and <laughs> Yeah, they're, I like how buttonless Audis became. Because from my OCD perspective of detailing the car and cleaning between the buttons and all that shit, you know, the crumb where it can get in around on, on the, in the things, there's way and way less of it now or more or less non-existent because everything is on one touchscreen. All the buttons are virtual. But I do not like that they're taking away the shift stick, man. That's bullshit. That's no good. Germany, piss off, man. Don't do that. Put the shift stick back in A3. Call it a recall. Yeah. The rest, recall the rest of the cars. <laughs> Put it in there. Yeah, yeah. I like that cross uh, or counter intuition on on or the thing that they they want pedestrian safety. But yeah, the A pillars are thick as hell. But in the Audis, I like that that they're putting the the rear view mirrors are actually put on the doors instead of the A pillar, so you can still see more in. Uh, through the Audis, but I did catch myself a few times fucking almost running over a person that I didn't see because they were right lined up with, and as you know, you're turning, right? 
they were right yeah. lined up with that blind uh, the spot of the a pillar best cars for like, oh, visibility in my opinion are still well they're kind of similar in in this aspect is corvettes and porsches because the windshield is fairly upright and the a pillar is not so enormous mm-hmm. plus you sit quite close to the window so like doing this is like you see completely around it mm-hmm. like rs6 a- estate what is an rs6 estate would that be the avant version i guess in north america like the wagon yeah yeah i agree be yeah. fucking flying tools through the back of the window knowing me how i drive <laughs> <laughs> just plywood plywood back <laughs> Uh, where are we with the yeah. with? So natural aluminium has seventy seven percent, black five, bronze five, other fourteen. So uh, black and bronze, uh, you people are just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. I Blue take, on white. I, I, I take it David probably put in uh, bronze or something by accident. So. Uh, Whatever it is, but it is. <laughs> yeah, I do use premium fuel as well, Steve. I don't put the like the cheapest garbage in there. Gas is going, dude. Like it's dollar sixty five now for a liter. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> what do you guys have? It? It's like two euros now or some shit. Last week, uh, for what? For premium or for normal? Premium gas, yeah, yeah. Because normal was two euro fifteen last week. Oh shit! Yeah, I don't put the peasant juice in my car, like. You and know, uh, the like... the non peasant juice, the ninety eight was two twenty one or something. Found yeah, the same. Uh... Uh... And I, I'm that's so insane. At BP, the one next to me, the the Euro ninety eight is uh, two twenty eight a liter. That's like three dollars fifty Canadian. Oh my god! <laughs> that is a lot paying, of fucking uh, money, bro. Yeah, Point, but then again, uh, you guys don't do distances uh, like we do. We don't have road tax yeah. like we do. <laughs> No, we don't have road tax, but we also we're not getting our back shaved by freaking holy cow, man! Three bucks a fucking liter, dude. That would be. I don't think that even media could hide the revolt at that point. But still, my Passat was three uh, three euros a day just in tax. So. Yeah, Amir. I don't know if he's in the chat because he lives in Dubai. I wonder how much the fuel is there. Twenty-five cents. Yeah, Something probably. Like they're, they're, uh, you, you get a full tank and three dollars or five bo- five dollar uh, coupon. <laughs> I think get I checked it the other day three. that I think it's here in Europe is uh, Turkey or Turkey it's called now. Uh, Belarus and Russia that's under uh, euro. But yeah, they have other problems. Wow. But, Twenty yeah. bucks a month for Rotex, y'all. That's insane. Yeah, prices aren't exactly fun. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, where's Sweden? Uh, Up so north, I would say. Apparently, your fuel in Sweden is nearly 20 cents a litre cheaper than ours is. When I moved to Canada I in 98... pretty the same, yeah. Yeah, when I moved to Canada in 1998, the price of fuel was... I believe 49 cents a liter. Well, you'll go back to that in Florida because it's like $3.20 a gallon. So the fuel is cheaper there. I mean, it's like $80 cents a liter or so. The sad part is that Florida is one of the most expensive uh, states to live in now. Because everybody wants to be there or yeah, go in terms there, of right? Houses and stuff. Yeah. But not in terms of like food. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's going to be interesting living there. Big it's move. Great. Big move. Yeah. yeah, and it's, you know, I'm looking, so looking forward, forward to it. So looking forward to see how you're, the place you will get and how you will place everything. And... Yeah, I've been looking yeah. at Zillow for a while now to look at apartments and such, but now it's like, yeah. oh, fuck, if I 
I don't know how many more months I'm going to have to wait for that goofy visa because the one that I thought, you know, like you can just get on the border. That's not the way that it works. So I'm actually what I'm doing. I'm opening an LLC in uh, in Florida. So I'm going to make my own company and come in there, invest 60,000 US dollars into it. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for the high risk factor of it. But I'm thinking I'll buy an Avant. I mean, not the Avant, but Harmony and maybe a set of 28. See if I can flip the 28 type of thing. And go from there. Just do what uh, Hendrik has done now. Get the harmony and get a twenty-four inch. Fuck yeah! <laughs> a little little cell phone screen on it. Super super oh, yeah. super glue a twelve inch iPad on it. There you go, buddy. I would have said I'm I'm paying little more than four <clears> bucks <throat> a gallon for premium ninety-three octane. I just compared to it. Yeah, well, uh, American is uh, mon, and we use ron weighting of octane. So the difference is about five, roughly. All right. Hmm. As in, like ours reads about five higher. It, it it's a I, it doesn't it's weird. Anyway, uh, the, the basic bitch fuel in America is also I think eighty one, which is like we don't even have that here. Which no, is it's like. 87, 91, and uh, 87, 89, and 91, and then you can get 94. Yeah. But anyway, in like uh, three gas stations in, in the city. Here in the Netherlands, converted, we paid uh, $9.81 a gallon. Holy man. US. That's a lot. That, is not, that, that is not Canadian. I think if, if that would happen in the States, I think that. Biden would be carried out with Harris on fucking pitchforks out of the White House. In Canadian dollars, that would be twelve fifty a gallon. Is what we pay? Gallon. Yeah. That's disgusting. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's too much. Too much money. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna call it before it just becomes car talk and Eric becomes enormous for some reason. <laughs> 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 Sweet are taking over. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. If you haven't done it yet, uh, please give us a like. It helps us out a lot in the algorithm. Uh, we'll be tomorrow on Twitch because it's a long holiday in Canada. So you'll see a lot more of Willie's back rubbing on his wall. Oh, dude. <laughs> With his weird it's sort so of sex ball on the out. wall. <laughs> it's so hard to sit this out for two hours right now. I like It's been two weeks of this. Oh, uh, God, I can't wait for Tuesday to get needled again. And I think that would be the that that's that'll fix it. Finally, that's not the Joe Biden type <clears throat> that comes for free. This is the stuff you have to pay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is this is 80 bucks a session. Fuck. <laughs> Some quality. It's more, than, it's more than the Biden's needles. <laughs> Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good week if you're not with us tomorrow. And uh, if you are, follow us on Twitch. And uh, yeah, uh, have a good one, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Strangers in disguise, but unto them.